So do you learn anything useful in college or is it just so you can get a piece of paper and go get a job and then you learn all the skills? Well, that's not how it is in my opinion and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I've learned a lot of skills that I use in my career, some of them every day. So the first one is how to work a project. Now a project is a lot like a class, funny enough, that it's finite, it has a beginning, middle, and end, and you really have to pay attention in the beginning and learn some concepts you might not know because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to keep up with the project and the other people working on it. So this is a lot like a class where you have to do the same thing. And another way it's like the class is that you'll have multiple going at one time. Like you have multiple classes in one semester, you're also gonna have multiple projects you have to work on. Next is requirements deciphering. Now, what I mean by this is you are given either in a class, you're given a homework assignment, or in real life, you're given a set of requirements for something you need to create. Now, this is more similar than you think, where you're just reading text that someone wrote, trying to figure out what do they really want? What do they really want me to do here? And it's also very similar in that sometimes you have to go ask them. You might have to ask your professor a question about the homework assignment. You might have to ask your stakeholder a question about the program that they want. Databases. So I work with databases pretty much every day. Even though it's not my main role, I need to know a lot. Like SQL is a database language that I learned in college and it's something that I need to know. Another thing is just the way a database works. Tables, rows, columns, you know, private keys, foreign keys. How do you actually set up a database if you need one? How would you run it if you wanted to? Security is a big one. As a developer, I need to be security aware all the time. And I did a minor in security and walked away with quite a few useful things. So the first one is just general security concepts, like the concept of least privilege, which means just don't give a user any more privileges than they need. When I'm writing a program, I have to keep that in mind. So there's more technical things like encryption, like AES or TLS. So these are different, actually different things. AES is an encryption method. Uh, TLS uses AES. Now I have to work with these things day by day and I learned about them in college. So things like packet sniffing, where you are able to look on a network and see packets coming through and see what's going on in them. Understanding how a packet works is something that I've you know, needed to do before. So authentication practices is a big one. Authentication is just the way that you log in, like with a username and password. I have to know how to make that work. I need to know the requirements behind it, what's not good security practice, like it would be a bad practice for me to send the user, you know, a password of another person, stuff like that. So security has been very important and that's something I use every day. Troubleshooting is another big one. Troubleshooting is something that you're going to have happen to you in college, that something isn't going the way you need it to go and you need to get that good grade so you're gonna to have to figure out what's going wrong. Where did you mess up or where is something else messed up? Troubleshooting, you basically just Take these different problems that you have and start with the first one. Try to solve the first one first and then keep working into the next ones until it's solved. So presenting is a big one too because it's something that a lot of people will need to do and even as a developer, I find myself doing it quite often. It's not easy to go up in front of a lot of people and explain something technical, sort of like what I've done in my videos. Now, I've learned to do that from a lot of classes I took in college that make you do it, even if you don't want to. So that made me better at giving presentations like that. And it's something that I use quite often at work. Technical writing is another one I've had to do. If I have to write up a document about a program I wrote, how do I make it look professional? Another thing is just writing emails. How do I be professional when I'm writing? So technical writing is one that people do need to have in a professional environment, and I use it at work every day. Usability is another one, which is basically to say, when I'm writing a program, I need to be conscious of what's a good user interface for the user. For instance, I don't wanna have a whole ton of menus bunched up at the top of my page, even though it might work fine for me. I need to be aware of what most users will be able to do and will not be able to do. And we had a class called uh, Human Technology Interaction that taught us all sorts of stuff like that. And I keep those concepts in mind every day. So believe it or not, group projects are another one. You're gonna have to work with other people. So doing a group project and learning to divvy up the work, go into different roles and complete something as a team is something you do in college that you also have to do in real life. And yes, that's every day that I'm doing that. Servers are a big one. Servers are something I work with every day and I learned about most of what I know in college. 
So servers are usually either Windows or Linux, but they host other types of software. So how am I going to install open source software on my server and make it available to other people? I learned how to do that in college by having assignments that made me do it. And beyond that, there are things called virtual machines and virtualization. That means your server is a big computer that's actually running a bunch of little computers. How does that work? How can I set up one of those? And how can I make them communicate with one another if they need to? These are things I've learned in college. The command line, how do I work on a command line to do things, which is much more how you do things with servers versus just using a GUI. So servers, quite important. Networking is a concept that I've needed too. It's basically you start with an IP address, right? That's just a number that goes to your computer. But then beyond that, you have ports. So if I need to get a certain port on a certain IP address, how can I do that? Well, I learned that in college. What if something's not working? What's likely to be stopping that connection? Maybe it's a firewall, something I learned about in college. Beyond that, networking has tons of concepts that are basically needed for anybody working in a networked environment, which most everyone is. So things like domain name servers, how does an IP address and a port become just a website? And things like HTTP, how does that function? How do I need to use it in my programs to do what I need to do with the server? So programming is the big one for me. Programming is sort of what got me where I am today. And believe it or not, I didn't know how to program before I went into college. College taught me how to do that. And not only that, it taught me several different languages. I came out knowing you know, C, Java, JavaScript, PHP, C Sharp, and, and actually a few more. <laughs> but I didn't know any of that going in and I was taught class by class how to do it. And honestly, it's not really the language that's a big deal, it's the concepts and there's a lot of them. Like, IDEs, string manipulation, functions, object orientation, compiling, markup languages, variable types, interpolation, CSS, comments, pointers, arrays, objects, equivalents. There's just a ton of things that you will learn about when you take a degree that teaches you how to program. And those are the things that got me where I am today and it's stuff that I use every day now. I can't tell you how many times I am going through something at work and I remember something basic I learned at school that helps me. And the things I've talked about before, like security, sanitizing URLs, how do I do that in the programming language I'm using? I learned how to do these things in school because I had to in school if I wanted to pass the assignments and now I have to at work because it's my job. So anyone that tells you that college is a waste of time or college doesn't teach you anything useful, they're wrong. So if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Have a good night.